every year it's like this rite of spring passage, the herring come, and I want to share it with more people that, so they can actually see them in action because they're, they're really cool little guys, <laughs> and they're so important. The history of the herring migration is, of course, very ancient. These are fish who have evolved adaptations to be able to live in salt water most of their lives, but to use freshwater systems to spawn and reproduce. And then with overfishing, reduction of habitat, their populations have declined. Dams are stopping them from being able to swim upstream to big, calm ponds to spawn, to lay their eggs. The Mystic Lakes Dam was a big obstacle. They redid the dam there and they installed a fish ladder. So when that happened, we saw the river herring population in the Mystic double and almost triple in size. Mainly, the big migration that comes up the Mystic River stops at Horn Pond. And the, the Scally Dam project is designed to allow fish to enter this big, new, open space of habitat. This is a project that came about because of volunteer efforts. It's years of volunteers helping to collect data on the river herring migration. By making this improvement at the Scally Dam, we will open up Horn Pond, which is going to be more acres for the herring to spawn. And when we see that, then we are going to have more herring. And when we have more herring, we are going to have a healthier habitat here and in the ocean. I hope people take away some hope, some idea that, that we can make improvements, that who would have ever thought that this most urban watershed in New England would have one of the largest herring migrations, but we do. We're so excited for the fish to safely make it up to Woburn and be in Horn Pond and then have a happy life. We're still recording, so oh. <laughs> everything. Uh... Yep, it was We Love Herring, yep. <laughs> On three. Okay. On three. One, two, three. We love herring.